Welcome back to another Video Studio tutorial. Today, we'll dig into seamless transitions, a great way to jump from one clip to another by zooming in on shared characteristics or colors of both clips, giving you the option to transition between clips in a way that has more flair and is less distracting than a hard cut. I have two clips of this tourist in Barcelona on my timeline. When you have two clips that have a similarly colored sky or other feature, like the top left of this first clip, and the top middle of the second clip. You can try adding a seamless transition. Open the transitions folder in your library and use the drop down box to show just the seamless transitions. As my transition is going to zoom in to the top left of my first clip, transitioning to the left makes sense in this case. So I'll drag the left seamless transition onto the join between the two clips. But of course, there are seamless transitions for all directions as well as rotation transitions that rotate through 180 degrees within the transition as well. Then double click the transition and go to customize. The middle of the display in this menu is where the seamless transition will take place. So we want to line up the top right of our first clip with the top middle of our second. That should just about do it. The transition will also play once we click OK to return to the timeline but we have this ugly band of gray where the clips overlap. We want to minimize this join in the center so it disappears as much as possible. Let's check out the options for soft edge. There are light, medium, and strong soft edges that blur the two edges together in different ways. And selecting a new soft edge to try out will also play the transition, so you can easily see it in action. In this case, the second option, light soft edge, seems to work best. Let's try one more seamless transition, but this time we'll use a rotation version. The next two clips I've got on the timeline have similarly colored grass. I'll drag the down and rotate transition onto these two. I want to zoom in quite a bit on the grass so that the cameraman and the guitarist aren't in the shot when it rotates. And for the second clip, I'll need to have it slightly off center. It's looking pretty good, but let's try and remove that banding again with soft edge. Light soft edge seems to work the best again. Of course, like all transitions, we can change the length of the transition at the top here to make it quicker and punchier or longer and more dramatic, depending on what you need. Happy editing.